So now we are in the MCCB workshop. So MACG has total M five uh, uh, MCCB in the total six frames. The first frame is 125 ampere. Second one is 160. Third is 250. Fourth is 400 and 630. It is a common frame. Fifth is 800 and sixth is 1250 ampere. So MACG has uh, the MCCB in total all the variants like fixed type, thermal adjustable type, thermal and magnetic adjustable type, uh, electronic type, ELCB type and the smart recluser type. So all the MCCBs we produce by ourselves and for each type of MCCB we have a separate production line which, we, which is automatic production line wherein all the test has been carried out automatically. So I will take you to the uh, Firstly, I will take you to the 250 ampere production line. So let's go and see how we manufacture MCCB one by one and also how we ensure the quality during the manufacturing process. Let's go and see. Now we are at the 250 ampere automatic testing line and here you can see this is all the automatic testing line which is in U shape. The assembly starts from here and the testing does, does there and all the finished products finally is packed here. So I will show you the process one by one how we manufacture the MCCB. Let's, let's come here. Now the first station we have here you can see this is the drive shaft. This is the thermal magnetic group assembly. This has been produced in our welding workshop. This is the contact spring. This is one pin and this is the lower connecting rod. Now he, here you can see how we assemble all these parts together in the first stage of the assembly. Now we are at the second stage of the 250 ampere assembly line. Here you can see all the mechanism parts are getting assembled over the thermal magnetic group assembly. Now here you, you can see this is the latch, this is the connecting lever. These are the pins, this is the knob holder and this is the mechanism. So all these parts are getting assembled here in this process. Now here we are at the third stage of the assembly where the latch, this is the latch, these are the latch spring and these are the some screws. These are getting assembled and here you can see the thermal magnetic group assembly is now locked with the mechanism side and also the latch is getting installed here. Now here is the process, you can see the process very well here. Now here we are at the stage of the assembly where this complete group, thermal magnetic group assembly with the mechanism is getting fixed in the housing. And also at this stage we are, we are pasting the barcode over in the base side so that we can, with respect to this barcode we are, traceable, we are doing the traceability of each and every test and I will show you how it works in the next stage. Now you can see how we are doing the assembly of the thermal magnetic group assembly inside the base. Now in the earlier stage we have seen this thermal magnetic group assembly is getting, getting fixed inside the housing and now if you can see here there are no fixed contact, fixed contact we will place it in the next stage but before that we have this test station which is the automatic test station where we, che che uh, we automatically check the open distance and the over travel, these two parameters. These two parameters are very important, this open distance parameter is very important as far as the impulse test and the high voltage test is concerned and the over travel is very important as far as the, electric, uh, the life of electrical endurance then also during the short circuit the contact pressure means ultimately it is a temperature rise test. So all these two parameters are very important which we check 100% with respect to this barcode. Here in this machine, if you see, there is a yellow color one which is a barcode scanner. This barcode scanner scans this barcode and with respect to this barcode then the data of the over travel and the open distance is getting saved for, for this test unit. And we can at any moment, we can trace out what's the data for that uh, particular MCCB. So now you can see the process, how it goes.
once the mccb is qualified for the over travel and the open distance now in this stage we uh, assemble the fixed contacts in the, and after that once we assemble the fixed contact the next series of the test is been carried out now here let's see how the assembly of the fixed contact is getting done here now we are at the test station where our total four parameters are getting checked first is the automatic on off second is the synchronicity the third one is the trip force and the fourth is the trip travel so these four parameters are getting checked in this test bench so here we check the we are we are doing the automatic on off for the five times and we check the continuity is okay or not the synchronicity of the moving contact is getting checked and that should be within 0.8 mm the trip force and the trip distance these two parameters are very important as far as the overload test is concerned so here you can see this is the test parameter sheet is given by our r&d department and all the test parameters of this sheet has been inserted inside the program of this uh, test bench and with respect to these parameters then the mccb is judged whether it is qualified or not so now you, here you can see the how the test is go, uh, going on now we are standing at the testing station where the two parameters which are most related important as far as the temperature rise test is concerned is getting checked the first parameter is the resistance of the whole circuit and the second parameter is the lift force lift force is nothing but the contact pressure so once the mccb in, which is qualified in the previous stage goes inside again the barcode is being scanned and these two test parameters are getting checked automatically and if the mccb is disqualified there is there is one station here which automatically moves here and takes out the mccb which is the disqualified one it only allows the mccb which is the qualified one to the next stage here is the process now we are standing near the automatic magnetic test bench where this test is very important as far as the ic60947 part 1 standard is concerned now in this test you can see here the we pass the 10 times of the rated current through the MC, uh, through the mccb and the mccb should hold should not trip at the 80% and should trip at 120% of the rated current thus this test is being done automatically by in the phase first a phase a then b then c then together phase a and b in series b and c and and a and c so this this test unit do all this test automatically and judge whether the mccb is qualified or disqualified if the mccb is qualified it goes to the next station which is a thermal calibration and thermal verification test station I, and if it is disqualified then it is automatically been weeded out so that it should not go to the next station
Now we are standing at the automatic thermal test unit. This unit is do the thermal calibration for the MCCB, and this test is very important as far as the overload test is concerned. Now we here you can see for every rated current we have the test current which is the 2 in and this is the non tripping and the tripping time band and this one is the standard clearance gap this is the gap we maintain between the bimetal screw and the tripping lever and firstly i will show you how we maintain the gap then this mccb pass automatically through this test station there are 12 uh, stations in this uh, test bench and we pass two iron the rated current and uh, the, once the temp, uh, once the high current is passed the bimetal gets automatically heated and then bi once bimetal is heated up it push the tripping lever forward and finally the mccb trips th uh, through the overload me uh, mechanism so this is how this test is being carried out uh, first uh, you can see here the the test is going on yeah So after we have passed the thermal test the MCCB comes to this station in this station we assemble the arc chamber these are the uh, these are the some uh, some of the insulation insulating plates these are the side inserts which we assemble and also the top cover and also the knob we assemble in this station before we do the HV test and after this test after we do all the assembly the HV test is been carried out but some of our uh, customers needs the semi finished products like in a skd format so we do we do uh, the uh, assembly of the knob and the middle cover which mean which which one is the old one and after we do the short uh, after we do the hv test we take out the old middle cover and the knob and we put the new one before the shipment so here you can see the assembly of the is going on now we are standing at the high voltage testing station here you can see the we passed 2.5 kv high voltage for 1 second and the allowable millivolt milliampere is 20 milliampere so this test is being done for each and every mccb and once the mccb qualified the test then only goes for the final packing station here is this test once the mccb is qualified in all the series of test like first it starts with the open distance then the over travel Th second it starts with the automatic on off then trip force trip distance then uh, contact resistance uh, after that we check the uh, magnetic delay then we check the short delay means the thermal after that the hv so all the test has been carried out then finally here is the assembly of the top cover or the middle cover now the, which the, the old middle cover and the top cover we take out from here and as per the customer's requirement we put the new top cover and the middle cover here assemble it here in this stage and after this the mccb will be packed and will be sent to the customers this is how the total process we follow and with this we can you can see at every each and every stage there is a kind of a measurement automatic measurement where we check the mccb is qualified or not and we also take the guarantee that once the mccb passes all the stage it it will perform its uh, function uh, rigidly in in the site conditions also